Hi there, welcome to the Alan Burkle Lab. My name is Caroline Ganobis. I'm a PhD student who studies the mouse gut microbiome. What I'm going to do today is give you guys a quick rundown of what we do in the lab and how we do it. What we do is study the gut microbiome of various animals, and how we do this is by the use of roboguts. So what these roboguts do is mimic the colonic environment of various animals with different parameter settings. These include things like pH, temperature, media which mimics diet, retention time, and also an anaerobic system. Here we have a bottle of media that's fed into our robogut vessel. This is used to replicate the human diet, so it includes things like proteins, carbohydrates, fibers, and different vitamins. This is fed into the system to feed the microbes and keep them happy. Now the next parameter we need to take into consideration is pH. The mean colonic pH in humans is found to be about 7. We use these acid and base bottles to feed into the robogut vessel so that the pH is kept at 7. Here we can see the robogut vessel itself. You can see that it's pretty turbid, which means that there is plenty of microbes in there who are happily growing and fermenting and using up all the media and reagents that we're pumping into the vessel. What we use to inoculate the vessel is actually typically a human fecal sample. We're lucky enough to have donors who are willing to provide us with these samples. Inside we have a stir to keep things moving and also a bubbler. Another thing that we do to keep the microbes happy is keep a temperature of 37 degrees, as this is what's typically found in the human colon. Another parameter I mentioned that we take into account is retention time. So what goes into the vessel doesn't stay in there for the entire run. Our runs typically last from three to four weeks. Essentially, the set volume that's in the vessel through a day will be expelled within 24 hours and be refreshed with new media in order to keep the microbes happy. Now the last thing we do to keep the microbes happy is pump in gas. This is because the microbes that are within your colon and the robogut vessel are anaerobes, so they don't really like oxygen. So we need to pump in gas to keep them happy and growing. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Allen Burkle Lab and learning a bit about the robogut system that we use. Thank you for listening and we'll see you next time. For more information about the Allen Burkle Lab, visit the EAV Lab website at uoguelph.ca.